What's going on everybody? D. Olive Ricks TV back with another video and I would like to talk to y'all about Dwight Howard. I'm almost sure that you all know by now that the Los Angeles Lakers have signed Dwight Howard to a non-guaranteed contract. Uh, the Lakers have decided to give Dwight Howard one more chance, pun intended, uh, to right his wrongs. And as he stated back in 2013 in a tweet, that he hoped he has an opportunity to make things right with us Los Angeles Lakers fans. And <laughs> yes, Dwight, I hope you can make this right. You better make this right with us Lakers fans. We're giving you one more chance, okay? Now, Lakers fans, I did a video the other day where I stated that I felt that I thought it was a terrible decision for the Los Angeles Lakers to sign Dwight. And I still stand on that. But I mean, hey, maybe I'm wrong, you know, maybe I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I have no problem with it being wrong. That's life. We're right sometimes and sometimes we're wrong. And as I stated, same thing I did with DeMarcus Cousins. You know, when I stated that I thought the Lakers should have stayed away from him, you know, they still signed him anyway. So it was what it was. Now we have to move forward. Now, even though my feelings haven't changed on Dwight Howard, and I still think he's soft, and deep down I think that LA lifestyle and potential locker room issues will get to him, but I pray I'm wrong. I hope in fact, you know, he can help the Lakers win a 17th NBA title. And I asked myself the question, and I'll ask you guys the question. Do you think that Dwight Howard can help the Lakers win their 17th NBA title? And in all honesty, I believe so. I, I believe he can in some ways, and here's why. Now, I did a video recently. Well, not recently. A couple. I did a video a couple months back on why the Pelicans will be forced to get down a laydown and trade AD to the Lakers. And look what happened. That's exactly what happened when a lot of people was like, they was caught up in the headlines of Gail Benson. Her saying that she would trade AD over her dead body. I knew that the Pelicans would be forced to trade Anthony Davis. I mean, the signs were already there. David Griffin was there, who was a longtime buddy of LeBron James. The Lakers mysteriously got the fourth pick in the draft, and they were able to trade that pick up to the Pelicans. I mean, everything was being laid out for the Lakers to get Anthony Davis at that point. They refused. They weren't going to just give up on all those guys, especially after the media has built them up. The Lakers did the right thing by building those young players up and to making them something that they really weren't. They really weren't superstars or future stars, but, you know, that's just my opinion. You know, the Lakers did a great job at marketing those players to get them traded, to get the best asset available. And, and the reason I said they would be forced to trade AD as well was because, look what happened. Look what I said. Because the NBA, this is facts, the NBA TV ratings were down. And a large part of it was because their marketed asset, LeBron James, wasn't in the finals. And you're still going to do whatever it takes. They're still going to do whatever it takes to make sure the Lakers make the playoffs. And what I believe they would do is make sure the Lakers make the NBA finals. The same reason the Cavs got to the finals every year, whether you like LeBron James or not, he's high, extremely high TV ratings. Now, everybody believe the Clippers will make it to the finals. I don't think so. For the NBA, having the Lakers in the finals is twice as much revenue more eyeballs period and they know that i mean selling just just think about it just selling the possibility of the lakers winning their 17th nba title with the storyline of lebron james doing it who they promote as the next best player since michael jordan not to mention it makes absolute sense to have lebron as the face of doing it it enhances his legacy and the only thing that will prevent that from happening in my opinion is injuries and I think in order for Dwight Howard to be a part of the Lakers' chance of winning the title, he has to change his attitude dramatically. You know, he has to change his attitude. No more playing around, no more joking. The serious Dwight Howard, like, the serious Dwight Howard was way different than this Dwight Howard. And people don't understand that. They're quick to mention how Dwight Howard is a future Hall of Famer. But that was from the past. And that past Dwight Howard was very serious about basketball. Dwight Howard's last best year was in Charlotte. Now, I think the Lakers must figure out a way. This is just my opinion. They must figure out a way to make sure Dwight Howard averages 13 to 14 points per game and at least average 12 to 13 rebounds per game and just be active on defense. I think the Lakers, they can't make the same mistakes. 
They can't play these players too many minutes. You can't play LeBron too many minutes. You can't play Anthony Davis too many minutes. That's going to be an issue. They must reduce these players' minutes. Let JaVale McGee get a ton of minutes to keep Anthony Davis and Dwight Howard fresh. And to me, the X factor for our team, and nobody's giving him credit at all, I'm going to do a video on him, is who I said the Lakers should sign, which was Danny Green. He's going to be an X factor for the Lakers. I think he will be absolutely tremendous for us. But in my opinion, I think Kobe Bryant wanted Dwight Howard back on the team. I still believe Kobe coming back, whether y'all want me to stop saying it or not. I believe this has Kobe name written all over it. It's the same similar situation with Bynum and Gasol. Kobe has always thrived being around two big men. And you add that with LeBron James, he ain't in his prime, but he's still a great version of himself. This roster complements Kobe. We have size, athleticism, a ton of versatility. And with the help of Adam Silver, with the, with the help of Adam Silver, come on, people. Come on, people. That has NBA Finals written all over it. We're going to the Finals. We're going to win. I don't want to, I really, listen, let me tell you something. There's really no point in me doing videos. I know the Lakers are going to win. We're going to get to the Finals. We're going to get to the Finals this year. Period. I don't care what the odds say. I don't care what nobody is saying. The NBA is going to make sure LeBron James gets to the finals. Period. With the Lakers. You know, I really think that Dwight Howard will be able to contribute to the Lakers. And I just think that he has to stay focused. He has to make sure he stay in physical shape. And he has to, has to be there mentally. No distractions. Put that work in. Play your position, as the great Floyd Mayweather always say. PYP, play your position. I think if Dwight Howard can buy in every single night and every single game, the Lakers will have a chance to be special, which I thought they was going to be anyway, whether we signed DeMarcus Cousins or Dwight Howard or not anyway. But with LeBron James and Anthony Davis demanding so much attention, then with LeBron and Dwight Howard and pick and roll scenarios, I mean... The idea, it's, it's just a beauty when you think about it. But it's just the, it's just a matter of it working, of it all coming together. That's the question. You know? So, I believe that Dwight Howard has to be fully dedicated in order for this to work. You gotta think, you know, with Anthony Davis getting so much attention and him being able to shoot from anywhere on the floor. Then you factor in that Danny Green is a sniper. Like, the Lakers have so much versatility, I'm telling you, from top to bottom. Then LeBron or Rondo being able to throw endless lobs to Dwight Howard. And the Lakers didn't even lock Dwight Howard in a long-term contract. So, that's another, you know, great thing. You know, so it's really a win-win for the Lakers. They didn't lock him into a long-term contract. So, if it doesn't work out, fine. If it does, I mean, actually, if you think about it, Dwight Howard has so much to prove right now not only do you get one more chance with the Lakers you also have to prove to these NBA owners general managers that you can still be somewhat valuable to a team and like I said I'm not saying it's going to work you know I'm not saying it's going to work I still believe that the better two options in my opinion was Maurice Spates and Joe Kim Noah but we didn't sign him so we have to move forward but Dwight Howard has a lot on his plate right now and he has to prove that he can still somewhat play in this NBA and revitalize his game he has to evolve into the, one of today's big men and play the style of one of today's big men I think Marcus Gasol did a wonderful job at doing that you know, he has to be active on defense. He can't be crying and complaining. No head, don't even wear the headband like you wore when you was in LA. Like, be serious. We need a serious Dwight Howard. We're not worried about you having to finish and move and things like that. Just be active. Get your hands, have your hands up on defense. Block shots. That's what we need you to do. Be active. Get on the boards. He needs you to be a great version of Dwight Howard. And hopefully, like you did, and hopefully, like you said, in 2013, you can make it up to the Lakers fans. 
I'm the Isle of Ricks. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I'm out.